Hi everyone, welcome to Thirsty Morality. Today I would like to introduce a movie called Man in an Orange Shirt. This was aired in 2017 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of homosexuality being decriminalized in Britain. Also, I'm ranked at 8 out of 10 and Rotten Tomatoes as 92%. A very high scored movie. This movie has two episodes in total and the story set 60 years apart. Today video I will walk through the first part with you. In the 40s, Western society had a massive obstacle to define the love relationship of a homosexual couple, let us call it a forbidden relationship. The movie starts with a grandmother in London nowadays, looking at her deceased husband and remembering the unrest in World War II. The grandmother called Flora and her fianc called Michael, a captain in the British Army, stationed in Italy. My dear Flora, your photograph is getting pretty battered with all the travelling around in my breast pocket. I can't tell you where we are or much of what we're doing, of course. On a mission, Michael met his old friend Captain Thomas, who is badly wounded in the mission. Later they developed an intimate relationship. Sugar. The lies full of bloody sugar. March. Thomas, March. March, stay with me. Stay with me. March. Oh, your Lord saved my life. This... This was your real lifesaver. I need to get your sketch pads back from our CEO. He, he's not exactly artistic. <sighs> Promise me that you'll come and find me. When Michael returned to London without telling Flora first, he reunited with Thomas and the brother romance came to a further extent. We were only deep mobbed from Colchester this morning. It, um, if, it's, if it's not convenient. Just don't, don't, don't be silly. It's... However, brief time flies in a lovely cottage. Michael revealed that he needed to marry Flora. Thomas could only give this couple a blessing by a painting of cottage. Hey, it's Thomas! Hello. Uh, you must be... Daphne, older sister, matron of honor and all that. Thomas March, how do you do? And Michael says you're an artist. How very romantic. Oh, hardly. Flora, how do you do? Hello, Thomas. You look wonderful. <laughs> Worth the wait. Thank you. I'm sorry that I couldn't come to your supper party. I'm horribly unsociable when I'm working. Talking of which, I brought you something. A wedding present. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> We should probably, yes, <laughs> Michael. Um, yeah.
Later, Flora was pregnant but accidentally she found the secret love letter from Thomas to Michael. F Fury from Flora made her burn the letters and confronted Michael about the relationship with Thomas. You sit down. Don't touch me! Never touch me, you disgusting criminal! Oh. You can tell Flora is so homophobic through characters. Whilst the confrontation, Flora began birth contractions and Michael wandered through the city and is tempted to cruise for sex in a public toilet. Afterward, Michael returned to Flora and they did not speak a word about the love affair. Meanwhile, Thomas was arrested for homosexuality and was barred a full year in prison but Thomas refused Michael's visits. Don't visit again. No, no, it's upsetting. Do something for me. Michael visited Thomas's mother and found an unfinished painting of a man in an orange shirt. It's only a study. He must have sold the finished portrait. I call it Man in an Orange Shirt. But it's you, isn't it? So, you must take it. Oh, no, I, I couldn't possibly. Uh, I think it's, it's wonderful, the colors, but our, our flat's so tiny. Michael wrote a letter to Thomas about all his feelings, but he decided not to send it. It is a sad story of when the times and society don't allow people to do what they want, leaving no option. Next video, I will continue with the second episode to see after 60 years later, how is the sad story coming up. If you like my video, please click the red button and subscribe my channel. Also you can comment, share and like to tell me what films you would like to get inspired. See you soon.